I think that M2 money supply is one of the more important charts for understanding Bitcoin's market dynamics and how it relates to macro economic factors, right? So M2 money supply is a measure of money in the United States that includes cash, checking deposits and other uh, convertible deposits. It's it's a indicator that looks at like the broad money supply and how much liquidity there is out there, right? Global M2 money supply, the an increase in it usually precipitates bull markets, which makes sense, right? This is the same thing that leads to runs in equity markets and other increases in assets, right? As more liquidity is pumped into the system, it lubricates financial markets. That liquidity chases assets and the assets appreciate accordingly. In 2017 and 2018, we see a bump in M2. We see a bump in Bitcoin's price. Same thing in 2020 and 2021. The current bull market, though, has not seen the same rate of M2 increase. And yet Bitcoin has hit a new all-time high and transcended $100 thousand dollars. This run has been furnished almost exclusively with the adoption of spot Bitcoin ETFs and these institutions buying up Bitcoin. And we've seen a total of institutional investors and non-institutional investors pour in $99.7 billion. And speaking from a specifically US context, there have been very few institutional avenues to purchase Bitcoin. Now we're seeing that become more of a important factor in Bitcoin's price. The, the the meteoric increase to Bitcoin from 2024 to now has been driven by these ETFs.